G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. So we are in the live environment of Draugr OS, so we're going to install Draugr OS to the desktop. So let's get on with the installation. So we'll go to, uh, I think it's system back. System back. system install and if you want to know um, anything about it we can go to um, the welcome Draugr welcome welcome screen there it is there and there will be a readme so you click on the readme file So this is the readme, so you can read that prior to install if you need to. A few notes there which is in my main video. So they're suggesting here to um, install from the boot, I'm doing it from the live anyway, so go through that. Okay, so it should be the same, so full name. the username, new username to log in password I'm just going to leave it with the two there at the moment host name Draugr dash os now we can delete these delete now the one that's um, got the um, italic font is the ones that you can manipulate so we want to what we need is a um, 512 megabyte oh, got numlock 512 megabyte boot partition I'll need a oh, wait, 4000 megabytes for swap and we'll make the rest a root that should be fine so this one here we need to unmount that the mount point will be um, let me see let's boot Actually, no, because um, I believe let's delete that, start again. Let's delete everything and start again. No, because I'm not booting UFI, that's the thing. I think it, it didn't boot up with EFI. So we'll start again. We'll do 4000 for swap. Arrow button to create. Press on that again, and we shall make the rest of that root so that's how that works so this one here will be let's unmount that and we'll make it a swap and format and do that that swap and this one here will be mount point root and ext4 and format that so that's done and next install the system start oh no
forgot to transfer files like that. So we'll tick that on. Install Grub to device SDA. So we've got my swap, we've got my root. Transfer files, that, that actually looks like this to start with. So you've got to check that and make sure it's ticked. And in my case, it's SDA because that's the start of the disk because I'm using the whole disk. Now we should be right to go. Okay, so the install is complete, so I will save that video and then um, I might just uh, pop back into the desktop and make sure that everything's working fine and, uh, and make sure it boots and I've done the install correctly. I'm pretty sure I have. And I'll see you back in the desktop. So we are back into the desktop of Draugr OS, so uh, install has gone fine, no problem there. So. Um, that's how you install Draugr OS. Um, I'm not quite sure how that works with the dual boot. I know I know somebody did uh, dual boot with Windows I think so um, but this is just on a uh, basic com uh, computer on its own disk so there's no dual booting with this one on this occasion. Um, now what I have done is I've saved this panel config so I want to see if that works so that um, if we copy that to uh, file manager dot, uh, it's in dot local share so maybe we need to open up the uh, panel switch I'm not sure what's going on there and it will probably create a folder for it. And there it is there. So we put that into there. Um, and then we And copy some backgrounds over as well. So if we put that, if we take the, some of my backgrounds as well. Panel config, so let's put those, copy those to pictures. And we'll go to uh, terminal, change directory to pictures sudo copy asterisk jpeg to user share backgrounds Alright, so that should be done. So let's see if the panel switch works with the one that I saved in the older one. It should be showing up in there, Coles Gaming Config. Let's just um, so, um, apply configuration. So there we go. So that works well and um, we should have some uh, desktop as well, desktop and the background and there we go so how quick was that? So that panel switch works pretty well so so that's um, Draugr OS install um, I didn't really look at it from a perspective of dual booting so um, I'm not sure how system back goes but I'm sure it was uh, 
Climby, I think, on Big Daddy Linux Live, who actually said he was dual booting with Windows. So that's an interesting one. Um, but for now, um, there's a lot of updates there, but that's it for me. Um, so that's Draugr OS install. Hope you found the, in the video informative and interesting, and thank you for watching.